Hello everybody, Dave from Erie Reactives once again. Um, yes, we are doing the video finally for the Old World Tarantula Coloring Book illustrated by Laura Airy Lee. Um, from, she has a business called Grey Ghost Creations. Um, I will send a link down below to her kickstart program for this book. And if I can remember, I will also put a link to her Facebook page as well where you'll be able to uh, link into her Etsy store. Uh, she has some wonderful art there. Uh, she does a lot of tarantula paintings on skulls, a lot of like piece of Latheria. Uh, they're, they're really just absolutely wonderful. Um, just absolutely gorgeous hand-drawn pictures, I believe, with either colored pencils or pens. Just does wonderful stuff. Uh, I'll explain the Kickstart program. Um, what her, her object was was a one-month Kickstart program. And... What she is doing is she's putting this book up for sale uh, with different kinds of um, ways to uh, back her. Uh, like there's a $10 donation, you get the book sent to you. There's uh, different kind of uh, price programs. Uh, maybe you'll get two, uh, you'll get autographed books um, or signature books, I guess you call them. And she's also going to be putting in extra stuff like uh, magnets and bookmarks and some other things. Um, and she also has, I think, a couple of pages that she colored herself so that she could see um, just different ways that you can do it. Uh, of course, you could do the tarantulas as close to realistic as possible, or you could just do them any way you want to. And I think it's kind of neat that you could color them, you know, just any way you want to. You can make them red, white, and blue, or you can make them whatever, you know, I mean, from America, of course, but you can make them any, any color that you want to. But I'd like to go over the book and kind of give you an idea of what's in it. And... What you're looking at, um, you'll be able to order these books after she's done with the Kickstart program, which probably is around 20, I'd say probably 21 or 22 days left in the Kickstart program. But I'd like you to go take a look at that. And if you're interested in the book, that would be the best way to get it, actually, is to get it through the Kickstart program. And she can ship this internationally. So anywhere in the world, she could send this book. So I think that's kind of cool. So if it's something that I know a lot of people that have, like, uh, you know, maybe like ADHD or some anxiety issues. These these things are really good because it focuses you on a task, and it's it's really interesting. Now, I haven't, I'm not artistic whatsoever, but I'm going to try and color some of these. But I need to get some decent colored pictures or pencils. Um, again, I think there's 27 or 28 pages in here, and you can see uh, she gives you the scientific name and the uh, common name, um, the Harpactera pulchropes, the golden blue leg baboon. Here we have the Harpacteria caffriana, the amber baboon, baboon, um, Agacephalus briari, uh, the, just a baboon tarantula, I don't know, uh, we probably don't have a common name on that one. But there's some really interesting species that you don't see every day in people's collections, which is what I like. Uh, the Syriopagabus hyananus, uh, I love this tarantula, I have one and I absolutely adore it, uh, just a lot of fun. So I'm going to try and actually try and replicate the colors of that, that's going to be interesting. Um, Syriopagopus lividus is, is the actual correct thing here, and I told her that, and I think that she made that correction. So in the books that show out for sale, I do believe it'll say lividus. I didn't actually ask her about that, but I believe she did make that change. Uh, the cobalt blue tarantula. And the detail is just absolutely amazing. You know, with the leaves, and, you know, this would probably be all webbing. Uh, just, just absolutely fascinating. The stromatopelma calciatum, the feather leg baboon. And you could paint this like it's on a rock, or you could paint it like it's on wood, whatever, uh, or paint it or draw it or color it, I guess. Uh, the Heterothele gabonensis, another wonderful. This one would be interesting because of the colorations on this. The gold and the purples and the blacks in this tarantula are absolutely amazing. It would be really, really interesting to see somebody with artistic talent color this one as close to possible, or close to realistic as possible. Now, this is a piece of theory of a Todd. I think you have almost all the piece of is in here. Again, you have... Wonderful little details in the background uh, on wood bark with the leaves, flowers. Just just a lot of fun. It'd be fun because it's a gray, cream, white, blackish kind of tarantula. A uh, piece of Theria metallica. Oops, sorry. A uh, piece of Theria regalis, the Indian ornamental. Chelobrachys fimbriatus. Skull. Pisotheria subfusca. 
Pteranochelis cordatus. Oops, we keep doing that. I want to miss one. Plinibus pelinobius. That's how I think it says. Muticus, the king baboon. Pteranochelis marinus, the OBT. Uh, Heteroscodra maculata. I think there's another page there. Isn't there? Nope. They're pretty thick pages, too. Pisletheria ornata. The Haplocastus devamatha. The, uh, what, what these used to be? The uh, T. psychedelicus, right? It's a piece of Theria rufolata, angry eyes. Ceratogyrus brachycephalus. This is one on high on my want list. The Lampropelma aviola seopis. The Monocentropus belfori. Eucrastocellus pactipus. This is another one you don't see in everybody's collection. Uh, actually, you don't see it in many collections. The Anseria Catella Olivacea, I have one of those. Heterothella Villacella, another small uh, dwarf baboon. Ornithoctonus Oreo tibialis. Haplopelma minax, another one you don't see very often. Seriopagopus albostriatus, this one would be wonderful, the color, the colorations in this, just the patterning itself. That's the end of that. Uh, but again, here's the author, or the not author because she didn't write it, but the uh, illustrator, Laura Airy Lee. Um, and I'll show you some things that she sent along with it for me. And this is some artwork that you can actually get off of her Etsy store, or I believe her Etsy store. Um, here is the Pislotheria Metallic. Again, this is hand-drawn. I believe this is colored pencils. Just the detail is, is just unbelievable. Uh, if I had a tenth of the artistic skills this woman has, I might be able to draw a stick figure. And then this one is absolutely fascinating me because I have that beautiful painting that Shanti from Tarantulas with Shanti had sent me. Uh, and now I have this awesome hand-drawn Chromatopelma cyanea pubescence, uh, the GBB. Again, you can order these, uh, both of these prints, from her Etsy store. Um, just wonderful and she sent me these just to because I was helping her out get this thing rolling uh, promoting her on a few sites and then doing the video here um, I would have done the video a couple weeks ago but I wanted to make sure that she had her kickstart going uh, make sure that all of uh, her information was correct I didn't want to give you guys wrong information price or anything like that I believe that these will be sold um, for $19.95 plus $5 shipping so they'd be $24.99 once the kickstart program is over and she's doing the Kickstart program basically to get an idea of how many, um, of what the actual interest in them is. And I, I told her, I was like, it's going to be, it's going to be big. I think it's going to be big. Because <clears throat> I know a lot of people like to, uh, the, the adult coloring book stuff has gotten popular. And in, and in, in our hobby, um, with tarantulas, we, we are, I always say we're an odd bunch. So we like to do things a little bit differently. I think this is something fascinating that, you know, you could tie into the hobby with just a little bit of fun in your spare time. Uh, maybe people that don't have these tarantulas are afraid to get these tarantulas uh, in their collections that they can they can get them and color them on paper and then frame them and put them on their walls. I think it would be fascinating. Uh, but I think if you go to her site, um, I'd have, like I said, I'll link it down below. I'll link both her Kickstart and her uh, Facebook page. Uh, I believe that she has put out a uh, free upload. Uh, or a free download, actually, that you can get a different picture of a uh, OBT uh, for free. You can download it and color it. Um, I know a few people have done it, and they put they sent the pictures to her, and I think it's really cool. Um, I'd like to try it myself, so once I put the link for you guys, I'm going to have to go on there and, and download it and print it myself. Um, so, yeah, please, please help her out. Uh, again, this this is an absolutely awesome idea to, to, to give maybe a friend of yours that's a tarantula collector or uh, even yourself, you know, or, you know, say, hey, you know, let, let's just say tarantula cat's going to nudge her husband, Eric, and say, hey, you know what, this would be a great thing to get me for Christmas, something like that, that deal, you know. Um, but, yeah, 
absolutely wonderful. She's just a fascinating, absolutely fascinating person. She's very, very sweet, very polite, very easy to talk to. Uh, I was absolutely uh, uh, elated that she let me uh, do this. So what I'm going to ask is, um, of course, for you guys to go check it out, but I'm also going to ask some of my YouTube friends to share this video to try and get it out to their audiences, two audiences that are much bigger than mine, uh, to get this rolling. Now, she does have plans to do another book, and she also talked about doing one that had not just tarantulas in it, but things like centipedes and mantises and some other things like that. So I had offered, you know, if she does a New World book, um, I had offered to do write-ups for her, you know, just a little bit of facts or interesting things that she could put on the opposite page, the non-colored page or the back of what the other coloring or the other uh, picture would be, but to give information also on the tarantulas too. So I thought that would be kind of fun. I would, I would absolutely love it to be able to do that. So let's let's see what we can do for her and get her rolling and... and uh, Hopefully, you know, her sales will go through the roof and, and you know, uh, I, I know she's super excited about this. It, it's She's been in the works with this for over a year. It took her over a year to get this first book printed. I think she just printed a few of them uh, that were sent to her. So I had one of the originals. Um, and I won't color this at all because uh, it does have the one, you know, the C. libidum mistake in it. So if she gets to be super, super popular... Uh, you know, this this book may be worth a million dollars. You never know. But, uh, yeah, so let's go check her out. Again, Gray Ghost Creations. That's G-R-A-Y, Ghost Creations. Um, and I believe that's the name of her Etsy store as well. And, uh, I'll again, I'll put the link for the Kickstart program down there so you can take a look at that. Uh, and then you can go check out her other stuff uh, from there. Um, but yeah, see what you can do. See what you think. I mean, look at this detail. I mean, is that not an absolute perfect rendition of a GBB that you've ever seen? I mean, it's just just the way that all the coloring matches perfectly, perfectly. So I wanted to say hello to my friend Tarantula Shani, Chani. Um, I did put the sticker on finally. I actually have another one. She sent me two, so I, I put one on there. Um, I'm still waiting for other people to send them to me. Nobody seems to want have stickers or want to send them maybe they don't maybe people don't like me um i know ray was supposed to send me one but i think he must have forgot he's kind of a busy guy but uh i'd like to get more stickers for this this uh this table here and then we'll be able to show off the, the pictures i also got this little blanket we could use this as a backdrop or we can actually put this down on top and i don't want to have all the stickers involved in in the uh um video so yeah please once again i'll show you the book one more time um, tarantula old world or old world tarantula coloring book um, Laura Air Lee go check her out and thanks for watching uh, I'm not going to put any of my information into this because this is about her and uh, go check her out have a great day happy keeping and hopefully sometime real soon uh, you'll have some happy coloring too um, I do believe the kickstart program she will be starting to send those off in mid-November so they'll be getting to you you know end November beginning of December so that's kind of cool they'll be getting to people just before Christmas and I think that's really really cool so have a great day everybody and the next video will be an update uh, lots of stuff to update some really really cool stuff I have some new things coming next week so we'll see everybody later